Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. Today we're gonna to chat all about period underwear. I've been doing some extensive testing. I got four pairs of period underwear. I probably tested them over definitely four cycles, maybe even five. So I wanna talk about fit, quality, how they performed, the materials. I wanna get into the PFAS information. There's been some controversy around that in period underwear and some new information about that. And my overall thoughts, feelings, which I like the best, which I like the least, how I I felt using period underwear because it's not something I've ever used before. So I got four pairs from the brands Wuka, Thinks, Lilova, and Isle. And I specifically got the organic cotton or more natural fiber underwear. I wasn't really interested in having fully synthetic underwear. So I looked for brands that had more organic or natural options. For these pairs we're comparing, I do wanna note that I was gifted the Wuka and Lilova ones, but I did purchase the Thinks and Isle ones, but that does not affect my review of them. And in terms of cost, the underwear from Wuka is the most affordable and Isle is the most expensive pair. I'll put the prices here so you can kind of get an idea of the price range. These four brands all do a pretty decent job of sizing. So Wuka runs from extra extra small to 4X, Thinks from extra small to 4X, Lilova from extra small to 3X, and Isle from extra small to 5X. So now let's jump back in time to when these pairs first arrived and my thoughts on the construction quality and fit. Okay, so all of my pairs of underwear have arrived and before I test them out, I wanted to take a look at the sewing and construction, fabric quality, and just kind of give you guys my first impressions. And I have washed all of these once just in case they shrink a little or the fabric feel changes at all. Now, unfortunately, most period underwear comes in black, except for this one pair that I have in red, which does make it a lot harder to show you guys details on camera. Black just really doesn't show up well on camera. So I will try my best to kind of describe things. So this is the pair from Lilova, I believe it's pronounced. And it has this cute little sort of lacy elastic trim on it. And these are in a size large. The material is 95% organic cotton, 5% elastane, and then the extra layers are organic cotton and also breathable PUL. In terms of sewing, everything does seem to be stitched pretty well. Although I am a little bit concerned about this lacy trim and it possibly snagging or maybe, I don't know, just like pilling a little bit because that tends to happen with these sort of lacy trims and stuff. So that quality or like longevity wise is a bit of an issue for me, but we'll see. It might turn out to be a really good quality trim. But I also like the lace trim. I think it gives a nice detail. Something important to note about these ones is the extra absorbency panel goes all the way up the butt. So all the way to the waistband which is really nice for sleeping and just provides you some extra coverage. It feels just kind of like you would expect a cotton jersey to feel. It's not super soft. It's also not rough or uncomfortable or anything like that. It's like a very standard cotton. Next, I have this pair from Wuka. Now these I got in a size XL. Um, I was advised to maybe size up in this material in the cotton because they said they do tend to fit a bit small. So in terms of size, the waistband of the Wuka's and Isle are about the same. And then the Lilova and the Thinks ones are smaller, maybe about an inch smaller. These ones are 95% cotton, 5% elastane, and they don't say what the inner material is. The waistband on these feels very thick and sturdy, which is something that I like. I don't at all think you'd have an issue with these sliding down, um, but it's also pretty soft. And the material, again, is very, just like a pretty typical cotton. Now, even though these all claim to absorb about two to three tampons worth of blood or sweat or liquid, this one feels thicker than the others. So while the other ones I think have a layer of PUL and then maybe one layer of cotton, this one feels like it maybe has one or two extra layers of cotton on the inside. It doesn't feel bulky, but it is noticeable when you compare it to the other ones. And in terms of construction, the sewing quality all looks good. 
There is nothing that is at all noticeable as being poor quality. So then I have this pair from Isle, and first of all, I really like that they offer different color options. So I got these in a size large, but the sizing does tend to be a bit bigger because these are comparable in size to the Wukas, which are an XL. These are a slightly different material. These are made from 48% tensile, 48% organic cotton, and 4% spandex. And the gusset is 10% PUL, and it also has a lining of recycled polyester and organic cotton. Now, one thing that's pretty cool about Isle's designs is you can wear this just as is, and it'll absorb about two to three tampons worth. However, it has this like envelope. So it opens up here and it comes with a bonus like pad that you can put inside. So you can really boost up the pair if you need to or not use this and use it as is. So I think that's a really cool design feature. And in terms of construction, again, everything seems to be well sewn. They use a tighter stitch on these, which is typically a sign of good quality sewing. And in terms of how the fabric feels, it definitely feels lighter than the organic cotton ones and maybe a little like smoother feeling. So then we have the pair from Thinks. Now these are also a size large and they are made from, it just says organic cotton. I believe they're, let me look it up. Okay, so yeah, these are also 95% organic cotton, 5% spandex. It's a little weird that they wouldn't print that. Now these ones appear to fit the smallest and in terms of construction quality, I would actually say that I like these the least. This elastic is very thin and very like plasticky feeling almost. It just doesn't feel very nice um, and feels like it would probably get stretched out easily, but we'll see and we'll try it out. We also have a little bit of threads and fabric coming out, which isn't a big deal, but compared to the others, the sewing just doesn't feel as good. And in terms of the padding in the back, this is kind of interesting. It goes thicker up to, again, about the midway point, and then it goes like a little bit of extra padding all the way up the butt. So it's like in two stages. So the most padding to here, and then a little bit of extra feels like the fabric is maybe doubled up. Something that definitely bothers me is in the padding part, it's kind of like bumpy and lumpy. There's like extra fabric on the inside. So things just aren't sitting nice and flat. It seems as though all of the layers for the gusset weren't maybe cut correctly or sewn correctly. So some of them just have some extra material that's kind of bunching up in the middle. I don't know if that's something that's gonna be uncomfortable or you're gonna feel it, but it's definitely noticeable when you look at these other pairs where the gusset tends to lie pretty smooth and flat. And even though this Wuka one is the thickest one, there doesn't seem to be the same like lumpy bumpiness of this one. Like I can feel through here that there's like a fold underneath here um, where there's just too much fabric underneath. I think these Thinks ones are not as good quality as the other three. And in terms of the best, it would probably be a tie between the Wuka and the period aisle ones. I think the sewing of the period aisle ones is really nice. Um, the construction seems really good. And the Wuka one, the fabric just seems really nice quality. The elastic seems really good quality. So I think those are the top ones. Comparing the cuts of these different types of underwear, the Thinks have the most like bum coverage here. The Lilova ones have quite a high leg cut and the Wuka ones are quite wide in the front. So they actually have very different cuts. So it'll be really interesting to see how they fit differently. So yeah, I think we'll go try them on. Okay, so this is the pair of Lilovas on. As I thought, it's a little bit too narrow this way across the crotch. I feel like it could use a little bit more fabric on either side. Now, this one doesn't have a big elastic like the other ones. It feels a little bit loose across here just because it doesn't have that sort of thicker elastic. So then this is the pair of Wukas. These feel really good. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about these. The way they fit across the bum, they, they feel like they're digging in a little bit 
on the bum. Overall, these feel really secure. They feel good. Yeah, I'm excited to wear them and try them out. Then we have the pair from Isle. These feel really good. The elastic feels secure without being like really stiff or anything. Not that the Wuka ones are stiff. It's just a very sturdy elastic, I guess. And this one still feels sturdy, but is a little lighter. And then finally, we have the pair of Thinks. I feel like this elastic would easily flip down or kind of get bunched down, um, but it is a little bit smoother of an elastic. If that's something that you like, it doesn't feel bulky at all. I personally don't really like this elastic though. Now this one seemed to have the most bum coverage across the back. Now that I have it on, I don't feel any of the bunchiness that we were sort of noticing. Okay, so I've worn all of these pairs multiple times. I definitely have some thoughts. I do of course wanna note though that when it comes to things like fit and comfort, that of course depends a lot on your body and your preferences. So something that might fit great for me might not fit the best for somebody else. And you know, you might have different preferences in terms of cut. Definitely the pairs I always reach for first were the Wukas and the Isle pairs. I found these just fit the best, they felt the most secure in terms of leakage and just the most comfortable. Although the more I wore the aisles, I do wish that they were a little bit higher rise and I would probably in the future invest in a higher rise style. I felt like this style and cut was really great. They're about an inch lower. I did really like that extra piece that you can add to the aisle pair for extra absorbency. It's great for heavier days. However, I did find that as you moved around, it could sometimes get a little bunched up. So it has its pros and cons, but it was nice as an optional feature. I also wanna give Isle a special shout out because they are very gender inclusive. They offer different styles and also have different models, which was nice to see. In terms of absorbency, they all performed exactly as I expected. I had no issues with that with any of them. Um, they absorbed about the amount that they said they would. With the Wukas being thicker, I also tended to grab these on my first heaviest day or with the aisle with the extra padding, just because it felt maybe a little bit better with the padding, but that could just be my impression because it just feels thicker that I think it's more absorbent. I don't know if it actually works out that way, but yeah, I had no leaking or absorbency issues with any of them. So now for my least favorite in terms of wearing them, like I was worried about, the Lulova ones did just feel like there wasn't enough fabric up front and I just didn't necessarily feel really secure that they wouldn't leak, so I used them on my lighter days. However, their fabric actually became the softest and nicest with washing and I did talk to them about the fit and they actually said that they have plans to make some fit adjustments and are currently in the process of redeveloping their fit. So I really hope that they are gonna make a correction and just add a little bit more fabric across the front and crotch. And then there's the Thinx pair. These did feel really secure and overall comfortable except this elastic. Again, it was what I was worried about in the beginning. It just always squished down and sort of flipped down and I just found this elastic to be weird and not the most comfortable to wear. Also the issue that I mentioned before about the pieces not really being the same size and there being extra fabric in the crotch, that has gotten worse with washing. I don't know if things just stretched or shifted around a bit, but there seems to be even more fabric on the very inner lining part. It's not really uncomfortable. It wasn't something that I really noticed, but just looking at it, you can clearly see that the inner lining piece is just has more fabric that is bunching up. And then another big issue why Thinx is definitely not a pair that I would buy again is because of the PFAS controversy. So I wanna to quickly touch on this. There's a lot of information to this and I will include some more links down below. But basically back in 2020, this writer sent in some pairs of her Thinx underwear for testing. PFAS is a whole group of chemicals that have concerns around hormone disrupting properties. Um, again, I will include more information about it. But the test came back saying the underwear had tested positive for high levels of fluorine, which seemed to indicate that it maybe had been intentionally manufactured with PFAS. Anyways, Thinx has continuously denied that they use any PFAS in their products. So it has become quite a controversy. And where this kind of gets a little complicated is a lot of these brands say that their products are safe because they are Ocotex certified. And Ocotex 
looks for a lot of different harmful chemicals and substances. So in general, it's a really great certification. However, from my understanding, Ecotex only actually tests for, I think about 20 PFAS and there are thousands of them. So basically just because it is Ecotex certified doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely PFAS free. And then more recently, some more brands and pairs of underwear were also tested for PFAS. And this one study, which I will link below, looked at a few of these and they found Isle and Lilova to be PFAS free. So that definitely bumps them up in my book. They found PFAS again in the Thinks pair. However, they did not test Wuka as a brand. Isle and Wuka were the only ones that I saw that say that they do independent testing. So just kind of as a general summary to me, this is another reason to just kind of avoid the Thinks ones. It's definitely extra points for Isle and Lilova. And because Wuka does do third-party testing, I feel like that's a good sign, but we don't know for sure they weren't included in this particular study. Again, there's lots more information about PFAS and these studies down below, which I definitely recommend checking out. In terms of certifications, the Thinks, Isle, and Lilova are all Ocotex certified, whereas Wuka is GOT certified and also vegan. Okay, now in terms of the manufacturing info of these four brands, Thinks was the worst for me because their manufacturing page just linked to nowhere. So I don't know if that's just a website issue, but I could find almost no information about their manufacturing. Isle had some transparency about their manufacturing, but they didn't say anything specifically about wages. Lilova just says their products are made in ethical working conditions. And Wuka was the best for me because they specifically say, we also believe that fair and equal pay is not optional, so they specifically highlight fair pay, which I think is always good to see. Again, I didn't really dig any deeper. I wanted to just look at what they publicly present on their websites. So overall thoughts on these four pairs, I would not recommend Thinks, especially because of the PFAS controversy and just the overall quality. I found, like I said, I really didn't like the elastic. There was some weird cutting or sewing going on. And I just think even though they're such a big brand in the space, I think there are other brands that are making a better product. Isle for me ranks the best. They came back negative for PFAS. I think their style and fit and comfort is all great. The brand is doing really great things. I love the comfort and fit of the Wuka pair. I really wish that they were included in that test because I would love to know how they rank on the PFAS thing. Lilova, I really wanna like. They came back negative for PFAS. I think they've got a lot of good things going on. It's just that cut. So I really hope that with the style and fit revamp they're doing, they address some of those fit issues and then that'll really bump them up for me. Okay. And my overall feelings about wearing period underwear were kind of mixed. I definitely feel like after all of these trials and experiments, I am more of a cup person. I love using a menstrual cup. It has been fantastic. I definitely will still be using this period underwear, but I can't see it being my primary period product, but I really like it for lighter days because I often don't like wearing a cup on really light days. I know everyone has different preferences around period products, but I just like the cup because you just don't feel it at all versus with something like underwear, I feel like you feel things more, which I don't necessarily find as comfortable, but I still think they're fantastic, a great way to save waste. I think that was everything I wanted to cover. There's a lot to talk about, and I did want to try to keep this video kind of short and condensed as much as I could, but I really hope that it was helpful if you're looking to buy some period underwear or looking to try it out. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other favorite period underwear brands, and also if you'd like to see more of these review videos and what you'd like to see them about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.